Hi, welcome back to NPA Teaching. In this video, we are going to discuss the chain rule or function of function rule of differentiation. The chain rule is a formula for computing the derivative of the composition of two or more functions. As per this rule, given composite function where y is the function of u and u in turn function of x. That is if a function f depends on variable u which in turn depends on another variable x then the rate of change of f with respect to x can be computed as the rate of change of y with respect to u multiplied by the rate of change of u with respect to x. That is as per chain rule the composite function that is y is equal to function of u and u in turn the function of x. So it is a composite function of two variable. So the derivative of this given function that is dy dx is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u that is d, dy du into the derivative of u with respect to x that is du dx. Consider the function y is equal to 3x raised to the power 4 plus 5 whole raised to the power 6. So in this function, we can rewrite this function as y is equal to u raised to the power 6 and u is equal to 3x raised to the power 4 plus 5. So here we wrote y in terms of u and u in terms of x. So we have a two variable, two composite variable here. So now firstly we are going to take the derivative of y is equal to u raised to the power 6. So dy du is equal to the derivative of u raised to the power 6 which is equal to 6 u raised to the power 5 and u which is equal to 3x raised to the power 4 plus 5 and by taking the derivative of u with respect to x that is du dx which is equal to 12x cube. So the derivative of a given function y is equal to 3x raised to the power 4 plus 5 whole raised to the power 6 is equal to dy du into du dx. So here dy du which we are already calculated as 6u raised to the power 5 into du dx which is equal to 12x cube. So the derivative dy dx is equal to 6 u raised to the power 5 into 12 x cube which is equal to 72 u raised to the power 5 into x cube. So we know u is equal to 3 x raised to the power 4 plus 5 then substituting u is equal to this value on the given above value that is 72 u raised to the power 5 into x cube where you have to substitute the value of u is equal to 3 x raised to the power 4 plus 5 then it will become 72 into u raised to the power 5 which is equal to 3 x raised to the power 4 plus 5 whole raised to the power 5 into x cube which is equal to 72 x cube into 3 x raised to the power 4 plus 5 whole raised to the power 5. Consider another example the function y is equal to minus 3 into x square minus 8 x plus 7 whole raised to the power 4. So the given function we can write the functions like y is equal to minus 3 into u raised to the power 4 where u is equal to x square minus 8x plus 7. So we wrote the given function in the two composite function that is y in terms of u and u in terms of x. Then the derivative dy dx is equal to dy du into du by dx. So dy du which is equal to the derivative of minus 3 u raised to the power 4 which is equal to minus 12 u cube. Then du dx the derivative of u with respect to x which is equal to 2x minus 8. Then the, the derivative of a given function that is dy dx is equal to dy du into du dx. So here dy du is equal to minus 12 u cube into du by ds which is equal to 2x, 20, uh, 2x minus 8. So if you multiply minus 12 u cube into 2x minus 8 it will become minus 24 x u cube plus 96 u cube. 
So here u cube is common. So we are taking outside that is u cube. So it will become u cube into the remaining things are here minus 24 x plus 96. As we are already know u is equal to x square minus 8 x plus 7. Then substituting the value of u on the above equation then it will become instead of u cube we will write x square minus 8x plus 7 cube into minus 24x plus 96. So this is the chain rule of differentiation. I hope you are clear about the chain rule or function of function rule of differentiation. In the upcoming video we will discuss the differentiation of exponential and logarithmic functions. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.